Instead of jumping into the realm of modern combat or futuristic warfare, the developers at DICE have decided to turn back the clock and return to the roots of the Battlefield franchise. Battlefield 1 depicts the savagery of World War 1, focusing on the bleak inevitability of death and wondering if the atrocities committed were worth it. The single player campaign does an adequate job of introducing the basic mechanics of the game while exposing the player to the brutality and camaraderie of the war through well-crafted, atmospheric cutscenes. Coupled with Battlefield's signature and thrown multiplayer component, and Battlefield 1 is another masterpiece from DICE. I've done everything right. Everything. The campaign of Battlefield depicts the heroism and horrors of the Great War through the eyes of six soldiers. Each has players taking control of a different warrior from around the world in a non-linear anthology. Each character has their own motivations for fighting, all while introducing basic mechanics for players. Here, players will learn how to operate a tank, plane, and other basic gameplay necessities without having to dive into multiplayer or any sort of training. Based on previous campaigns from the franchise, this is a massive step forward, especially considering that Battlefront was devoid of any type of single player. Missions are based on killing soldiers, sometimes specific targets, and moving on to the next objective. It's the way that these stories are told that make them special, each oozing with atmospheric tension thanks to incredible voice acting, a fitted musical soundtrack, and smart choreographed scenes. Excellent writing made every character feel relatable, some seeking adventures, others glory, and some simply because it was their duty. There was no universal goal among the stories, but seeing them play out offered more of a huma humanistic view on the war. Missions rarely offer anything exciting or new, most times players will find themselves killing soldiers to proceed to the next area. Stealth is offered in most missions in one it's forced, but compared to other titles like Dishonored and Deus Ex, it felt limited. Enemy AI is easily fooled and never investigates in pairs. You can easily avoid them by just simply throwing lures and avoiding their line of sight. Most of them you can shoot in the head and the others won't think much about it. This is a beautiful game. Lush vistas have become littered with bodies and decayed battles of buildings of battle. The character models express detailed emotions without having to say a word. Playing on consoles, I did notice some hiccups in the frame rate, sound tearing, and graphical issues. If things become too overwhelming, the game will crash. I experienced about 7 crashes across multiplayer alone. Battlefield 1's multiplayer remains rooted in the same acclaimed formula that made the franchise such a hit now tailored with World War I weapons, vehicles, and environments. Returning are Conquest, Domination, Rush, Team Deathmatch, and a variation of Capture the Flag called War Pigeon. The modes are only as good as the maps, and all 9 maps of Battlefield 1 are interestingly designed. Best of all, players can take control of a Zeppelin or a armored train on certain maps that can turn the tide in battle. The dynamic changes aren't as frequent as they were in Battlefield 4, but are still present, such as sandstorms and a crash in Zeppelin blimp that changes the entire layout of the environment. The class system still plays a massive role in Battlefield 1's multiplayer. Players can choose the four classes that include Assault, Scout, Support, and Medic. Each class has specific strengths and weaknesses that are paramount to success. The Assault class can carry anti-vehicle anti weapons, the Medic can revive allies, support provides ammunition to everyone, and scouts can pick off long-range targets. New to Battlefield 1 are the Pilot, Tanker, and Cavalry. The each one of these are specialized for specific vehicles. If you are lucky enough, you can actually gain access to special equipment on the field at random. The first player to grab it gets access to it, which can include a flamethrower, a powerful automatic rifle, or an anti-tank rifle, and increased defensive capabilities. Codex challenges and medals offer perks for those who choose to play outside their comfort zone. Weekly medals offer specific challenges that can give players extra experience but only can be completed one at a time and are offered weekly. If you're trying to play to differentiate yourself from everyone else, battle packs have returned. This time battle packs can be earned by collecting scrap and unlock skins, melee weapon pieces, or experience boosters. 
With the exception of experience boosters, all items available through bi battle packs are cosmetic. Everything from weapons to gadgets must be unlocked through progression. Each class has their own progressive system, allowing you to build your arsenal on what you like. Each action is rewarded with experience, whether it's taking an objective or wounding en enemy players. Teaming up with a squad which can consist up to 5 players will net you extra experience, encouraging teamwork. Tagging enemies isn't as pre precise as it is in other Battlefield time uh, games. At times, I would aim my weapon directly at an enemy player, but would be unable to tag them. At first, I thought this was a distance issue, but the inconsistent nature of this feature kept sprouting up. At times, I could tag enemies that were barely visible on my sniper scope, and other times, couldn't do it with an enemy player no less than 10 meters away. Also gone is the location of enemy players on the mini map while firing your weapon. Granted, this was a period when silent weapons were still in their infancy. Many have find this change distorting at times. However, this new mechanic now encourages players to become more aware of the situation at hand. Running into areas without first assessing the situation will lead to a quick death, encouraging you to check corners, look over windows, and running into buildings blind less encouraging. Battlefield 1 is a gripping emotional title that captures one of the most deadliest events in human history, yet I couldn't help but smile while playing it. It shows that modern weapons aren't necessary for a great game, that any time period is worth investing into. By providing a rich single player campaign to set the mood and a detailed addicting multiplayer component, DICE shows quality is what matters above all.